welcome back to my channel again, Torathena. You know what it is, we're doing making stuff with Alex Ward again, and we're still doing the Satana project. It's been quite a few weeks since we've done it. Yeah. And Alex, it's my fault. I've been very busy. It, it's really not, it's my fault. She got ill. Yes. I had to have an organ removed. It's really not that bad. <laughs> yeah, <I'm fine. laughs> she had appendicitis and then I got busy. But we're back and we're on to stage two now. So what do we need to do? Okay, today we're going to take your measurements. So we're going to actually start um, with the with the pattern making. Um, I am actually going to use a corset pattern and a uh, pattern for the jacket as well, just because it's easier for me. Um, so hopefully what we can do after we've got the measurements is we can make um, a, a toile of it or a toil, whatever you want to say. And uh, it's like basically a mock-up of it but using calico just to check the fit. So hopefully we can do that today. Yay! So let's go! So we've just taken my measurements and I'm not happy with the actual numbers <laughs> but I'm quite happy with the fact that I'm very close to being an actual hourglass. Near perfect hourglass figure. Yeah. Yes. But now that's done, what are we doing now? So I'm just uh, matching it up to one of the sizes of the corset patterns because um, they range from um, say like a 28 inch bust to a, to a 50 bust. So um, I'm just going to match it up and find the correct correct size and we might have to do um, a bit of an adjustment between the sizes sorry <laughs> so I'll check that now when you're doing this chart do you find it quite crazy how someone's bust could be a size 40 which as an example on a, a top would be a size 14 I don't know that I'm just guessing yeah. but then someone's waist could actually be a size 20 which could be like a size 8 yeah you see, and you see it a lot. And I've researched into um, com commercial sizing, so the likes of Topshop and Marks and Spencers, to try and f like figure out what their standard sizes are from like a size eight to a sixteen, what the actual measurements are. Because I'm doing, um, I'm trying to create my own range, so I've had to know what the standard measurements are, and. Some of the, the smaller sizes, the beginning of the size eights, are, are ridiculously small in, in, in my eyes. I mean, speaking as a curvaceous lady, um, but some of them you just think, I couldn't put my arm through that. As an example, if you don't mind me asking, what you, you've you fitted into size eights, haven't you, sometimes, mm. but your chest is a size 14. Oh, yeah. yeah, so like if I was to buy a dress on the high street, I'm a size 12 really for like a top, the top half of it I can be a size 8 and a 10 for my waist and you know and my hips and then I can be like a size 8 downwards so and I think I think every woman finds that they're always between sizes it's very rare you actually walk into a shop and go oh my gosh this fits me perfect I've never had it <laughs> so what are we doing now as I actually wasn't listening <laughs> with your help we're going to colour code the line that we're going to, to trace from. So so we're making the size of my pattern right now. Yes. Because yeah. on the patterns, there's loads of different lines and that trigger, that, that's depending on what size you are. Yeah, yeah. So each size is A, B, C and it goes up. Um, and I'm going to trace it first before, because if you, if you cut out the pattern that you've bought, you can't reuse it. Oh yeah. So we we trace it out first, and then we use that. The more you know. Martha Stewart on the go. Handy tip. But I'm going to colour code it because the lines are so close together. I get a bit confused when I'm tracing. Okay. Okay. Cool. So what you're doing is you're going to do the J with the pink, right? Okay. So use your ruler. Just that one. Yeah. As neat as you could possibly get it. Okay. <laughs> Steady hand. So stern. Steady hand. Right, I'll never trust you to do anything ever again. And I just get to sit there and do nothing. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that is a proper mannerism, as in at man -erism. <laughs> Never do the dishes well again. Yeah, exactly. Considering that wasn't a straight line, I'm quite proud of that. <laughs> Getting the tracing paper out. Okay. 
now with the lines that we drew we've got some tracing paper and we're going to make our own patterns again oh yeah that's right yeah, yeah i'm just um basically just going to trace the the two lines that we um that we marked out the pattern underneath this one and um and then i'll merge the two together well now we've just painstakingly traced all those patterns And what would be the next stop is to cut them out? Uh, well, what I'm going to do is see we've got the two lines. So the outside, outside line is the, the bigger size. Oh, we don't. Here you go. Yeah. So your outside line is your bigger size and the inside line is your smaller size. Now you are slightly bigger on the bottom. So what we'll do is we, we will grade the smaller size out to the larger size through the hips. Okie dokie. Um, from the waist. So we'll do that. Once again, I say this every video, but I just cannot get over how much work goes into making a dress. I'm already tired, I want food, and I'm, I'm sulking a little bit because I have to work. Ugh, I'm the cameraman. <laughs> well, camera woman. <laughs> but yeah, seriously, it's ridiculous. It's We've been doing this for what, an hour now? Yeah. yeah. And all we've been doing is tracing, tracing and drawing lines. Right, so we've had a little bit of a food break and when we come back, Alex, no matter how talented someone is, mistakes always happen. Yes. <laughs> and Alex has just noticed something that she should have thought about beforehand. And what was that? I should have copied the pattern pieces higher on my paper because my plan was to extend the corset to make it slightly longer line on the body. And... I've not left enough. I've not left enough room to do that. So lesson is, you really have to plan before you start doing this stuff. Yeah, and probably not drink wine whilst you're doing it. No. But we are running out of time today. We didn't really factor in how long this would take. I said it took an hour before, but I actually think it took longer than that. Yeah, like to be honest, when when you're doing all this type of stuff, because you're trying to do it quite accurate. It can actually take a good couple of hours, so. So yeah, we wanted to originally have a test fitting today, but that isn't gonna happen. No. But what I do have for Alex is homework. Ah. And the homework is Alex. I'm giving you my old vlogging camera and you are gonna film stuff when I'm not here, like behind the scenes stuff. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add it to additional making stuff videos or put it in my second channel and so you can check out more stuff when i'm not around doesn't that sound fun yes and then so and i don't have to do all this then she can do that when i'm not yeah. here <laughs> so what, what i hopefully plan to do um next couple of days is i'll get the pattern traced fully cut it out in the calico fabric and piece it all together construct it um so i can do a quick fit in with lucy so when you're doing your test piece, it doesn't need to be put together completely. You just use like the one layer of calico, and um, I'll, I'll I'll probably not even sew in the bone and channels, but I'll show you what I plan next time. Anyway, I feel like you're just speaking a different language to me. It will all become clear. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for watching and keeping in touch with the projects that we're doing. We love doing this. It gives us a chance to catch up and have a drink and make stuff. Um, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and all that jazz. It makes both of our days. And we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. More wine? Yes, thicker. <laughs>